Well, good morning to all of you. I mean, uh, the course is on this course is on power quality. So myself, uh, Bhim Singh from IIT Delhi, as you can see here. So we like to cover today the introduction to the course on this power quality. Well, uh, we like to cover today on the in the introduction part, like a state of art on the power quality. Then we like to classify the power quality problems. We we'll like to discuss about the cause of power quality problem and the effect of power quality problems on the users. We we'll like to class give a classification of mitigation technique of these power quality problems and we we'll like to discuss about the literature as well as resource material on this power quality. Uh, well, the objective of the today lecture we we'll like to talk about the awareness of the of the power quality, we'll like to discuss causes and effects of power quality problems, then the requirement of power quality improvement and mitigation aspect of the power quality problems like um. Well, as a part of introduction the term electric power quality, we also call it sometime power quality is generally referred uh, to assess and to maintain uh, the good quality of power at the level of generation, transmission distribution and utilization of an AC electric power. The pollution of electric power quality systems is much severe at utilization level because of the variety of the equipment or loads are connected at the utilization level. There are number of reasons for pollution of the AC supply system such as natural ones like lightning, flashover, equipment failure parts etcetera which are around 60 percent and the fourth one such as voltage distortion notches etcetera about 40 percent like I mean in total like I mean. A number of customer equipment also pollute the supply system such as they draw non sinusal currents and behave as non-linear loads. The power quality problems in supply system may result in failure or maloperation of customer equipment that is the reason it becomes very important. The power quality problem related to the voltage at the point of common coupling where normally the loads are connected are the voltage harmonics, voltage sex, spikes, notches, sag, dip, voltage swell, voltage unbalances, voltage fluctuations, glitches, voltage flickers and the outage. Well, voltage power quality problems are present in the supply system due to various disturbances in the system or due to presence of various non-linear loads such as furnaces, uninterrupted power supply, adjustable speed drive and many other non-linear load used into the your home appliances as well as uh, domestic sector as well as the your industrial sector. Some of the power quality problems related to current drawn from the AC mains are poor power factor which causes certainly the burden on the distribution system as well as transformer feeders and equipment and reactive power burden, harmonics currents in addition to fundamental current, unbalanced current which also you can quantify in as a negative sequence current and an ex excessive neutral current in the polyphase system especially 4 wire system in distribution system due to unbalancing and harmonics currents generated by the uh, some non-linear loads like. Uh, well, the power quality problems cause the failure capacitor bank increase why it is called failure of capacitor bank because if there is a some harmonics in the voltage uh, the higher for higher harmonics this capacitor we have as a very low impedance and it sucks the very large amount of uh, harmonic current which you can call it the it amplify the harmonic current and the capacitor bank get overloaded even there is a small voltage harmonics at the point of common coupling where these capacitor banks are connected. It also called increased losses in the distribution system and electrical machines uh, because of this uh, increase uh, because of this harmonics present in the uh, at the point of common coupling. In electrical machines especially these all power quality problems causes the noise, 
I mean because of produce typically the harmonic torque then vibration it also called sometime over voltage and excessive current due to resonance. The resonance I mean the kind of phenomena normally with the source impedance and the capacitor connected at the point of common coupling if you have a some harmonics in the load which are connected near the capacitor bank well it that harmonics get tuned with the uh, because of this capacitor and the source impedance then it amplify uh, typically the those harmonics and there is a substantial harmonic voltage appear across the capacitor bank which causes certainly a very large current drawn from the supply as well as into the capacitor bank. So, that is uh, normally I mean causes the CVRT I mean even the failure of the capacitor banks and the large current flowing into the this like we we have tried to quantify all these I mean in maybe later lecture we like to discuss all these like um, the negative of course, it is also called negative sequence current in the generator and motors especially which causes the rotor heating. Uh, typically, I can give you an example especially in induction motor if you have a 1 percent uh, negative sequence voltage or you can call it 1 percent unbalance then you will have a 5 to 6 percent negative sequence current in the induction motor in spite the induction motor you can call it is a balance load typically the balance impedances, but it it we have with the negative sequence current or negative sequence voltage to cause negative sequence current. So, you can call it the even the induction motor three phase induction motor amplify this negative sequence current by around 5 to 7 times I mean because its impedance corresponding to backward field is let us say typically 1 sixth or 1 fifth similar to like a starting current at your positive sequence voltage like on. So, which causes certainly the I mean where this current flows it flows into the rotor because the basically the resistance of the rotor for these harmonics are quite low because of you can maybe be aware it is R 2 by S and S typically in the case for backward field is around 2 around typically slip is around 2 minus s like also. So, it causes excessive rotor heating and sometime failure or even of induction cage bar then it calls the derating of the cables also because of the current which you are drawing more I mean compared to the fundamental uh, for which you have designed most of the distribution system as well as cable. It also causes the dielectric breakdown and because of excessive voltage coming across this cable and interference with the communication system because some of the frequency which are produced because of this phenomena which comes into the communication system zone and causes the it may even in interfere with the communication system. And it also calls signal interference and the relay and typically the breaker malfunction operation like it also called mal false metering because the current and voltage are distorted and when you really estimate the energy I mean like a or different quantity in the your metering it also causes sometime not exact reading which corresponding to the fundamental active power, but it also cause the some false metering and there have been a lot of litigation I mean corresponding to this false metering like and then interference to the motor controller and digital control which are used norm, normally in most of the motor controller today like I mean also. The power quality problem has become an important area of study in electrical uh, you can important area of study in electrical engineering especially in electrical distribution system and utilization system due to these problems and it has created a great challenge to the electrical utility to supply the good quality of power to their consumers. Uh, the number of technique are evolved for mitigation of these problems resulted in new direction of research and development activity for the design and development engineers working in the field of power electronics, power system, electric drive, digital signal processing and sensors. Apart from these issues a number of standards and benchmarks are developed by various organizations such as IEEE Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer, IC International Electrotechnical Commission which are enforced on the customers, utility and manufacturer to minimize or to eliminate these power quality problems like common also. Uh, a series of I mean what are the really mitigation techniques or devices are available I mean which are developed a series of power filters of various types such as passive filters, active filters and hybrid filters especially in sun. The hybrid can be hybrid of typically of passive passive, hybrid can be of active passive or it can be hybrid of active active. 
which are connected normally in the shunt or it can be connected in series or it can be a combination or use externally depending upon the nature of the load such as voltage fed load. Uh, we call it the voltage of fed load typical example I will like to give you example of voltage fed load means you have a let us say diode rectifier and you are connecting a capacitor at the DC link. So, it produces the constant DC link voltage. So, such load we call it the voltage fed load or it can be current fed load. The typical example may be like a thyristorized power controllers which uh, or you can call it AC to DC converter with the thyristor and you have a large inductance on the DC side like might be operating either feeding a current source inverter of the AC motor drive or it might be feeding the DC motor drive or you might be feeding some kind of electromagnet or the field excitation of alternators by this control rectifier. So, those we call it the current fed load or it can be combination of that because in distribution system I mean you might have a mix of the two and we like to mitigate the power quality problem. So, that is about typically the I mean series of these power filters are used for mitigating the harmonics. I mean like, but of course, I mean it also serves the additional purpose of sometime reactive power also I mean in coordination as, as we like to discuss later on the design of this power filters and probably their uh, typically the use as well as simulation uh, we like to discuss that. The another devices which call it custom power devices, I mean this active filters of course, it has gone active especially active sun filter or active series filter. when it is used in practice I mean it was not really of course, most of the manufacturer big manufacturer like ABB, Toshiba I mean like Siemens they developed this active series filter or sun filters or habit of them, but they were not going to really the field because they were very costly I mean, but when it has gone to the inner hand of like typically of your distribution system especially for utilizing in the industry as a combine on the combination of the load or it is in the let us say in substation it was very much encouraged because it can provide not only the harmonics, but it can provide the many other function which require in the distribution system. So, it, I mean by because it had to be taken care by custom it is was known by custom power devices and it, it, these are the devices known like distribution static compensator. If it is used as a shunt compensator uh, well the this, this dish com which is distribution static compensator can be used for your reactive power compensation negative sequence compensation, neutral current compensation if required then you can have even a harmonic compensation also. But certainly the, if you are doing a harmonic compensation along with the other these three compensation then the certainly the your rating is affected because you have to select the devices operating at higher switching frequency which you are using in this dish chat com. Similarly, we have a four series compensation dynamic voltage restorer which responsible for regulating the voltage across the load and even the supply voltage might be having sag swell which we discuss unbalanced the many even if there may be a power quality problem in fundamental voltage also, but even if there is a harmonics in the voltage at the point of common coupling you can certainly uh, provide the sinusoidal voltage across the load by injecting the these distorted voltage or unbalanced voltage in series with the line of this and load experience really the ideal supply with balanced voltage and sinusoidal voltage or we call it unified power quality conditioner we call it UPQC in short which are responsible for mitigating the current power, power quality problem as well as voltage power quality problem and both of the power quality column can be mitigated by this UPQC. So, these are of course, are very much appreciated because they are not only responsible for harmonic, but they can take care of like a typically reactive power which is the major reason of course, you can call it of power quality problems in distribution system uh, or for the industry and apart from that it also really can help for regulating the voltage also and mitigate both the issues like I mean also. This power quality improvement technique based on modification and another method I mean these were the method which we call it first to as a retrofit solution. Retrofit solution in the sense your uh, system is existing like you would like to have let us say you have a harmonic problem so we like to use the passive filter and of course, you can understand the how we use the this power filter you are going to keep a separate attachment to the uh, load either in series or in parallel but the system is existing like and the second one of course, we like to use again in the existing system in the distribution system and we are going to attach these equipment of course, in front or series or in combination. So, these first two we can call it it is a kind of retrofit solution for the system like on the third category of course, we can call it the power quality improvement in many of the equipment based on modification of input each stage of the this system with power factor correction converter known as improved power quality AC DC converter. 
as may be like a multipulse converter, matrix converter, or CDC converter, or ACAC conversion, which inherently mitigate the sum of the power quality problem in them and to supply them by drawing the clean power from the utility. In the sense like you have a like a variable frequency dive. So, in case of variable frequency dive, you might be having typically like an induction motor is fed from the inverter like a voltage source inverter and you might be using a simple diode rectifier which was having a harmonic chain to it. So, you can replace by I mean like a power factor correction converter like a voltage source converter at the supply side I mean and you can balance the current you can have a uh, you can eliminate the harmonics also. So, it can be like in a single phase also because plenty of load if you have in your typically in home appliances like whether it is a your LED lighting or you have a typically like uh, even a now permanent brushless DC fan which you are using or air conditioner you are using adjustable speed drive. You can use at the input stage by simple diode rectifier by capacitor, but it will draw very excessive harmonic current and that causes certainly the distortion in the voltage also at the point of common coupling. So, in place of that you can use the power factor correction converter at the input stage and harmonics can be mitigated and most of the load whether it is a computer power supply I and mean, you can say today present day load whatever power is consumed in the either domestic sector or your you can call it commercial sector this is going to be all through power electronics converter and why we use this power electronics converter because they have provide you the efficient conversion and many cases of course, you have to use the equipment it is not like probably I mean you think about like you have to use the computer either desktop or laptop those power supply also cause the harmonic pollution in the supply system because input stage itself is a typically a diode rectifier with the capacitive filter like I mean also. So, what I mean then we can modify the input stage itself so that that is your equipment is not going to affect the supply system and you are mitigating the power quality issue as the integral part of your equipment whether it is a lighting system or it is a fan or air conditioner or your washing machine. So, or refrigerator I mean you think about all the equipment or television so all the equipment which you use in normally in the houses or in the offices I mean which probably and this solid state conversion we are, we are using into it I can tell you like we started the lighting system with the 100 watt bulb I mean which of course is a resistance so it does not draw certainly any harmonics it is just like we have like ideal resistance it draws sinusoidal current at unity power factor but it consumes the power which 100 watt bulb means for the same intensity if you really talk about initially I mean with that your fluorescent tube it was consuming 60 watt then it reduced to with the electronic ballast with the 30 watt and now with the your LED I mean lighting system it is already 12 watt. So, 12 watt LED bulb give the same intensity of the light as 100 watt bulb. So, you certainly as a consumer or customer you will not certainly like to reduce your electricity bill by from 100 watt to certainly to 12 watt by using the LED. So, you cannot deny the technology I mean the in the field like. So, certainly if it has a some power quality problem you have to mitigate those power quality problem, but certainly the most of the users they do not bother about the power because then it is not going to affect too much to them it is going to affect the distribution system. So, utility have to directly or indirectly either penalize you or you have to, to motivate you to improve this power quality problems in the such situation. Well, we would like to talk about state of heart of power quality problems. Well, the customer equipment has become now why this what is the state of art why we have this power quality problem. The, the one of the major another reason is the customer equipment has become much severe sensitive to power quality problem due to the use of digital control and power electronics converter. They are very sensitive equipment. So, we I mean since they have become very sensitive to this power quality problem of course, they create the power quality problem. So, you can understand the problem is because of them, but they need the good quality supply I mean like and another is the increased use of solid state control in number of equipment with the other benefit which I already talked about like de decreasing the losses in the system and you can think about if you are using a like a single phase induction motor fan which consumes like a 70 to 80 watt, but if you have a BLDC fan which only consumes around 35 watt 30 to 35 watt. So, the power consumption reduced less than half so you cannot deny the technology. So, in that case like but what BLDC motor permanent brushless DC motor in ceiling fan use it use a single phase diode rectifier followed by capacitor then the three phase inverter which is driving the your permanent brushless DC fan. So, input diode rectifier with capacitor certainly draw again the har excessive harmonic current from the supply and peaky current typically which causes certainly the voltage distortion also not increasing the RMS current in the supply system because of excessive harmonics and sometimes T A D goes as high as maybe more than 70 80 percent like. So, harmonic content is substantial in those cases. But you cannot deny the technology because the power consumption for the users is reduced to like half I mean in many or even less than half in many situations. So, another is the increasing overall efficiency of the system 
and that is because the power consumption is reduced and reducing the cost of production. And that's an, uh, once it goes to mass production, the cost also reduces like. So that is one of the reason for typically why we are really going to adopt this system and why power quality is becoming because of the solid state control in these equipment like. Uh, I mean this solid state control has resulted in increased harmonic level which I was mentioning, distorted, distortion, no chase in the voltage also and the other power quality problems relate to increased RMS current in the supply system as well as increased losses like um, which can be quantified certainly. I mean, so you are going to create divert the problem of this power quality to distribution system and certainly the distribution company, utility company they are not going to afford either the additional losses or additional cost for installing the higher size of their install, I mean distribution equipment. So, they are going to directly or indirectly penalize to you only. I mean like typically in terms of uh, this you are drawing the bad quality power from. So, typical example are typically adjustable spread drive and energy saving electronic ballast I mean which I already discussed in detail like um, the, uh, the disturbances to other important appliances is such uh, telecommunication net telecommunication network, TV computers I mean like metering and protection system. I mean why, why this disturbance? I mean some of the equipment out of that they are doing the non sinusoidal current or harmonic current they distort the voltage of power at the point of common coupling because of the source impedance and through source impedance this harmonic current are flowing and they distort the voltage it affects the neighboring typically consumers or neighboring equipment also as I mentioned about this. Well that is another disturbance like you can call it as far as the state of art on power quality. Another is the deregulation of power system has increased the importance of power quality uh, as consumers are typically power are now using a power quality and performance in I mean typically indicators like this is what we are talking about like now if you are going to do regulation it means you have a small size of the power system which these power quality I mean let us say problems certainly affect more severely your size of the system has become your smaller one like. The another major reason is distribution generation using renewable energy sources and other energy local energy sources have increased the power quality problem. The typical example I can talk about distribution generation using renewable energy like a solar energy, solar PV energy we cannot deny the technology because it is so, so cheap, cheap now. Even in India we have a 2 rupee uh, per unit like per kilowatt hours like and many countries it has already gone to 1 rupee per, uh, per kilowatt hour. So, if you have a cost of electricity only 1 rupee or 2 rupee unit where you are at the moment utility are giving 10 rupee per unit you cannot deny the technology to generate the electricity from this solar energy at the present federal governments of central government of India have decided to go 100 gigawatt by 2022. Typically which is supposed to be like a 33 percent I mean around 5 year back what was the total generation of India. I mean so they are going to be I mean most not only India but most of the country even a European country they have gone the penetration of renewable energy quite substantial. We have at the moment around 24 percent 25 percent of I mean renewable energy generation either by solar or by wind or typically maybe the other sources like biogas and other sources I mean this, but all these typically especially if we talk about the solar because it is a DC generation. So, you have to convert this DC into AC to inject into the grid and you are using a power converter and those power converters I mean people talk about they also have a problem of harmonic and other power quality problem, but major power quality problems is coming because of intermittent nature and you can see the solar energy changing all the day when cloud is passing you, you see you can see the even a 500 kilowatt I mean PV generation system power generation might vary suddenly from 50 to 500 kilowatt. So, once you have a typically such fast changing generation and you are fitting a fast changing power generation into the supply system certainly it affects your voltage it affects the other parameters where the and now we have a lot of rooftop. So, the, these all generation are connected at the point of where we are connecting the load also like. Well, you have a similar problem into the wind also. I mean in wind also if we talk about wind generation, uh, I mean wind generation was quite popular even from 1970 to 2000 I have seen, even in 92 I have seen that we were using like a square cage induction generator which was operated by simple by wind turbine and you go above base, above the synchronous speed you start generating, very simple generation like no power electronics was there in that or power converter. But if you look into last couple of decade, we have a lot of power converters into the wind renewable generation, whichever wind generation, whichever I mean generator you use it whether you use the double effect index generator or you use the cylinder pole synchronous generator there are plenty of generator now in wind power generation, but all are using the typically uh, two stage converter then. Why two stage conversion? Because we, we have gone to variable speed wind generation, variable wind speed generation give us around 50 percent more energy 
if you have a 50 percent more energy with the this advanced technology or sophisticated technology i mean the costs of this can be recovered within two three months i mean within a few months only you can recover the cost like by extra energy generation you cannot deny the technology and this use the double the power converter in the sense like you you have a certainly the power converter interface with the grid which is certainly injecting the variable power i mean fluctuating power or changing power and apart from that it also certainly created the sum of the harmonics also because converter are interface with the grid like um, so this distributed generation i mean you cannot avoid it i mean because it's a cheap electricity and it is locally available electricity i mean those resources natural resources and that's the reason it's called renewable so you cannot avoid it but this also called the power quality problem so we have to find out the solution for such power quality problems also like common I mean, also Well, the pollution of power network with power quality problem has become an environmental issue with the conscious of uh, consequences in addition to the financial issues and several standard guidelines are developed and enforced on the customer manufacture and utility as the law or discipline of the land because any standard which is when develop it or guideline is decided I mean all three major uh, let us say responsible party I mean customer means the who are using these equipment the manufacturer who are manufacturing and the utility I mean who are associated they have to sit together and decide what level of power quality I mean we can really maintain and standards should define to that level of power quality or so. A remarkable growth in the research and development work on evolving the mitigation technique of power quality problems has ob have been observed in the past quarter century and an increased emphasis has been given on quantifying the power quality problems, monitoring the power quality problem awareness of power, these power quality problem because of which we people were suffering like I mean and impact and evolving the mitigation technique of power quality problem. The reason you can think about this power quality has become similar in a power let us say power electric power system the power quality has become similar to like your environmental problem in the pollution in your typically into the metropolitan city as you talk about typically even in we talk in Delhi in the winter we see I mean lot of power quality uh, let us say pollution problem. So, here is the pollution of the utility or you can call it the supply system which really going to affect the other consumer also in the same manner as our health is affected if there is a pollution in the environment like. So, certainly we have to quantify I mean you will find quantification of this okay how much is the distortion in the voltage how much is unbalance in the voltage. So, we have to monitor also continuously in the same way and provide the awareness to the users yes this is a typical problem like why your equipments are failing what they are deteriorating why their life is reducing and how it is going to affect the utility as well as to you like I mean. So, that becomes like typically important this about the you can call it mitigation technique. I mean. So, we like to classify these power quality problems like I mean. well the class there are number of based these quality power quality is typically classified. Uh, one is that it qualified on the basis of the event like it can be tangent or it can be steady state which you might have studied even the basic course also or it can be quantity such as it can be the power quality problem can be in current or it can like a current in the sense that you might be doing the reactive current or harmonic current, negative sequence current, neutral current. So, we quantify I mean this harmonics or the reactive power reactive current or harmonics in the current. So, we call it these are the quality I mean quality problems in the current or similarly we have a power quality problems in the voltage also like your, you might have a voltage typically like distorted voltage unbalanced voltage fluctuating voltage with the voltage with the sag swell unbalance surges spike notches all these are the power quality problem in the voltage and, and of course, in the frequency you know that frequency is varying I mean over a wide range earlier it was varying very wide range I mean like typically, but now it is not varying so wide range, but still it is varying even in India. I mean the standard says plus minus 3 percent and that becomes very huge because the lot of equipments are affected by uh, typically the frequency variation. Like if you think about like a, even a 1 hertz frequency is reduced from 50 hertz to 49 hertz in India, your speed of the motors will reduce and maybe the motors or the generator core will saturate because you will be having over fluxing. What is the same, but frequency is reduced, so flux will increase by typically by few percent like I mean about 2 to 3 percent which cause increase in magnetizing current or exciting current especially for a fire magnetic core either of the transformer or the motor or generator typically or the it may be the power quality problem in the load or it can be in the supply system like I mean power supply supply system in the sense like you can have a typically the 
uh, voltage unbalance all those that we call it and normally the current power quality problem is because of the load and voltage power quality problems is in the supply system but they can certainly affect each other also like on. Well the another classification we call it like a tangent type of power quality problems. So it can be like impulse in nature or oscillatory nature, it can be voltage check we call it the voltage dip or it can be swell voltage slightly goes short period it goes to up for from 3 cycles to maybe a minute or so and short duration voltage variations or power frequency variation and typically the voltage fluctuations like on it. Well the steady state type of power quality problems we classify like a long duration voltage variation we call it like a voltage have depressed long period you might have seen some time maybe in the evening when there is a overload the voltage got depressed low that would less voltage is coming that is why you are not able to operate the fan at proper speed as well as uh, typically you are not able to have a light also some time. Uh, typically lighting system also even not functioning earlier when you have a fluorescent lamps or so or you have a voltage waveform distortion I mean that really might have might have seen when electricity goes your inverter start feeding your uh, home load so you might be seeing the noise in the typically in the fan which causes certainly because of the torque pulses and noise coming out from that. So that affects virtually the voltage unbalance. I have already mentioned about the like induction motor or many load which causes the increased heating. I mean uh, because the increased losses in the even the typically the motors and in many many kind of other loads. Then you have a volt, typically the notches in the voltage. Then you have a DC offset because of the some load might be drawing a well a small DC current. So that's really DC offset causes the certainly the situation in the transformer or AC equipment like or inductor or so. Then the flicker, I mean you might have seen the flicker because of the many reasons like you might have seen a I mean like a typically welding and many kind of look where you might have seen the flicker which affects the your even a human behavior irritation kind of things like also. And then you have a poor power factor, I mean like uh, this problem, I mean or load current unbalance which causes like a typically the unbalanced voltage at the, at the point of common coupling if you are drawing the unbalanced current in three phase system or the load current harmonic currents or excess in neutral current. I mean, if I talk about it for a I mean let us say for a few moment about excess in neutral current I mean now you can have a three balance current. You think about let us say you are drawing the, the three square wave current in all three phases. So neutral current will be the same RMS current as the your phase current. Ideally it should be 0. If you have a balance current a sinusoidal three phase balance current neutral current should be 0. But if you are drawing all three phases are drawing the square wave current I mean typically you will find the the neutral current is also same as the phase current. But if you have a current uh, in some situation which I talk about voltage fed the load diode rectifier with the capacitor filter if your current is drawn only let us say for 60 degree duration I mean not 180 degree out of positive half cycle or negative half cycle that may happen because of capacitor filter after the diode rectifier which you might be using like in a LED lighting or typically in bus DC fan which we talk about or resistible drive. So in that case you may find the neutral current I mean maximum it can go root 3 times uh, of the phase current and that is the reason in most of the new building like hospitals and other buildings where lot of equipment are there which really include the lot of solid state controller the neutral conductor earlier supposed to be 3 and a half I mean we are putting in a uh, typically the neutral cable of corresponding to half a conductor cross section here which was for the phase current. Now we are putting this conductor cross section here double so you will find the core 3 by 2 I mean 3 cross section area for the normal cable but the twice the conductor cross section area for the neutral. But you of course you can probably avoid the neutral conductor bursting by putting the conductor cross section area double. But think about the losses, losses still remain there in the neutral conductor also. I mean if it is let us say your current is let a 150 percent in the neutral conductor the losses will be I mean square of that I mean 1.5 square 2.25. I mean this is the losses 2.25 times the phase current which are supposed to be in balance current sinusoidal current is 0. Now suddenly this losses have become almost like a 70 percent losses or 80 percent losses suddenly have come into the neutral conductor I mean in addition to your phase conductors like also. So that is causes the excessive neutral current typically the problems like I mean. Well the second classification of this power quality problems we can call it it can be based classify on the basis of voltage current or frequency which you already mentioned it can be power quality problem in the voltage or it current or in frequency. And the third classification can be based on whether it is in the load or due to the load I mean like I mean whether load is creating power quality problems or it is in the load itself or either due to or to the supply system either it is in the supply system or it is because of the supply system. So that is can be the another classification of this power quality problems like. 
A power quality problem due to nature of the load, which we mentioning, it can be like a fluctuating. Why this power quality problem can be due because of the load? Because there, you might have a fluctuating loads as furnaces, like or in furnaces you might see the load are fluctuating in nature. The load current can consist of harmonics. You can have a typically like a reactive power co current component. You might have an unbalanced current, and you have a typically kind of a neutral current and DC offset current like. So, these are all are produced because of the load, nature of the load all, only like on. The power quality problem can be in the supply system which consists of voltage or frequency related issues such as no chase, voltage distortion, unbalance, sag, swell, flicker, noise, etcetera. Well, we like to cause of this power quality, causes of power quality problems. The main cause of this power quality problem can be classified typically the natural or man-made. The natural can be why this power quality problems are there by, nat by natural causes it can be like a fault in the system or it can be lightning I and mean, you might have seen thunder storm and lightning or it can be which affect the electricity system suddenly over voltage or extra voltage or sometime I mean really affect or weather conditions such as storms or equipment failure I mean a storm can be of different variety it can be a you can call it like a storm related to air blow or it can be like a you can call it a winter storm, I mean maybe in some of the country like maybe North America or so or maybe equipment failure. So, these may be we call it the uh, natural ones and the nat natural causes of power quality problems are tangent in, I mean they causes in terms of tangent in nature or such as swag, swell, impulsive or oscillatory in nature. And the man made causes are due to the loads because load you are connecting your load or the system operation which you are operating your system in different way. The cause due to nonlinear load is the like a how it is affecting this non load like you might have a saturating transformer or electrical machines I mean they do not consist any because we all the time we talk about the solid state control cause this power quality problem. But it is not like a saturating transformer is not having any solid state into it or electrical machines are not having any anything it, but it reacts to the power quality problem because of saturation it may have or solid state control like vapor lamps based lighting system or adjustable speed drive or untripped power supply arc furnaces, power supplies of computer like which is called switch mode power supply or television sets. So, all they cause this power quality problems like these are typically I mean the table which consists of like a power quality problems causes an effect. So, if you talk about the tangent we already talk about little bit discuss. Uh, what uh, category comes uh, like impulsive nature, oscillatory nature, what cut, I mean causes as a categorization like peak rise, how we quantify them and what they cause is it like uh, comes out from lightning stroke, transformer energization, capacitor switching. So, tangent appear because of that and it, it causes like a power system resonance like how it is going to affect. Similarly, oscillatory nature it really can be quantified in terms of peak or so, how you can categorize them I mean or frequency components. and it affects uh, causes by line switching or capacitor switching or load switching and certainly it causes again the system resonance. Similarly, short duration uh, voltage variation can be in terms of sag, swell or interruption I mean which can be quantified in magnitude and duration and it may be because like sag can be like a motor large rating motor starting like a single phase line to ground fault and it affects like a protection malfunction loss of protection. Similarly, swell I mean it is a magnitude you can quantify in terms of magnitude duration and why it is there it can be because of capacitor switching or large load switching suddenly large load is switched off the voltage will try to increase or falls and it affects again the protection system stress on computers home appliances and similarly interruption which is very common in India like you can think about uh, I mean how long the quantify is as a how long it can be there I mean like a, it may be because of temporary fault or and it can cause loss of protection uh, your wrong operations of fire alarm I mean these are the effects like out can or long duration voltage variation can be sustained interruption I mean in can be defined in terms of duration. So, it can be because of fault and cause the loss, loss of production similarly under voltage it called the can be quantified like a magnitude and duration and it may be because of switching of load and capacitor de-energization and increased losses in heating and the over voltage the magnitude and duration and switching of load capacitor energization and damage to household load appliances. Well, the Typically, the voltage imbalance can be defined in terms of symmetrical component and can be can be because of single phase load or single phasing or and cause the heat motor heating. Similarly, voltage waveform distortion is either DC offset, maybe it can be defined in terms of voltage. So it can be geomagnetic disturbance or rectification and saturation affect the saturation in transformers and inductor and 
typically in machine. Harmonics can be quantified in terms of total harmonic distortion or harmonic through harmonic spectrum and uh, it can be because of adjustable speed drive only in load and it increase the losses and cause poor fire factor. The internal harmonics again can be quantified in terms of your total harmonic distortion or harmonic spectrum and it is again caused by again adjustable speed drive and non linear load and cause acoustic noise in the power equipment. Similarly, notching is again quantified in terms of harmonics and total harmonic distortion and harmonic spectrum and caused by power noise converter and may cause the damage to the capacitor, capacitive component or capacitor bank like and noise like again quantified TAD and harmonic and can be caused by harmonic arc furnaces, arc lamp power converter and causes the capacitor overloading distribution to typically to the disturbance to appliances. Similarly, voltage flicker and you can have a frequency of occurrence caused by arc furnaces and lamps and affect the human life, human health, irritation, headache and typically migraine and voltage fluctuations again can be intermittent in nature and due to load change and protection malfunction typically you can call it like a light intensity change and frequency is because of fault disturbance to isolated customer own services Icelandic or like DG set and damage the generator or turbine shaft. So, we like to look uh, into the effects of this power quality problems on the users like um, what how they affect like. So, one of the effect is the major financial loss due to interruption of process. Now, you might have a like a semiconductor manufacturing industry. So, if a small interruption is there and manufacturing equipment is affected, so you, your whole batch gone. Similarly, it may cause your let us say your manufacturing like tablets. I mean, typically in pharmaceutical industry. So, if the your equipment is cut, it is a block of process, some chain of the process and suddenly interruption in the process, the whole lot, I mean your uh, total chemical combustion have to be waste apart from it need the cleaning also. So, you lose the production and you lose the your raw material also. So, it may cause the equipment damage, production loss and wastage of raw material, loss of important data also in computer like a typically banking system or so. So, these are some of the examples are in automated industrial process namely semiconductor manufacturing, pharmaceutical industry where even a small voltage dip or sack can has caused the interruption of process for several hours and waste of raw material like um. Some of the power quality problem affects the protection system and result in mal operation of protective devices and interrupt many operations process in the industry and other uh, establishment and these also affects many type of measuring instruments and metering of the various quantities such as voltage current and power energy. And moreover, these problem affects the monitoring system in much critical important emergency vital and costly equipment like um. Well, the harmonic currents increase the losses in number of equipment and distribution system and cause the wastage of energy, poor utilization of utility assets such as transformer feeders, overheating, overloading of the power capacitors, noise and vibration in electrical machines and disturbance and interference to electronics appliances and communication uh, network like on. Uh, now, we like to classify, give a classification of mitigation techniques on power quality problems. Well, uh, we how we have a mitigation means like, like earlier we were using a passive component like capacitor and reactors, I mean for the purpose of compensating the reactive power as well as providing even the compensation for negative sequence current. Later on of course, another category that was the passive component normally used in developing country and developed country because these are the cheaper in manufacturing. Another uh, I mean the power quality improvement devices are like a DVR dynamic voltage restorer or DSTATCOM distribution sticker or UPQC which we also explained earlier. And another series is of power filters like active filters, passive filter or hybrid and hybrid can be hybrid of active active, uh, passive passive or active passive like or it can be improved power quality AC DC converter which I already explained that in the input you can integrate and for large rating like a multi power megawatt power drive you can use the multiple AC DC converter in the input or you can use the matrix converter. So, very purpose all these is the kind of last three are you can just change the input stage like I mean. So, these are the typically the power quality mitigation equipment under different situation like I mean. Well, we like to talk about the literature related to this uh, resource material on power quality problems. I mean like, so these are the some of IEEE transactions journals in which I mean lot of literature is published on related to power quality our mitigation techniques and mitigating equipment and the different situations. So, all these are the typical journals and there are lot of conferences which are I mean every year they are happening internationally by IEEE or many such organization like IT or even other typically 
you can call it the professional societies, I mean all around the world and uh, typically in four different applications you will find here the different names of the conferences like. So with the, I would like to conclude with this, the recently power quality problem has become an important subject and area of research because of its increasing awareness and impact on the consumers, manufacture and utility and it is quite important to study the causes, effect and mitigation technique for power quality problems like um, and these are the some of the references, the first reference which is the book which uh, the myself and my team, we have written almost like a 25 years, I was working since 95 and it typically came in 2000. Uh, 15 we are able to publish like I mean also and there are other plenty of books on power quality which uh, I mean are there you can think about and some of the very important publications related other than the books also. So, with this I would like to thank you and typically we will today introduce this power quality as a broad uh, not only appreciating the power quality problems, but we really talk about the why this power quality, what are the power quality problem, what is power quality, what is the power quality problems and how we can mitigate, what are the equipment for mitigating, but certainly you can not think about the same addition for all the very purpose, I mean you have to like classify it for different applications. So, we like to even we have covered little bit on that and we have quantified that okay, why, how we can think about even monitoring or you can think about like a typically mitigating and all those we discussed. So, thank you very much, I mean awesome.